Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. In today's episode, we are doing our first Football Manager 2020 experiment. Today's episode is called, What If We Gave a Billion Pounds to a National South Club? Which is quite exciting. Obviously, we, we did this last year as well. We want to do it this year. We did it the year before. But also, this video is going to be out about 3pm, 4pm. If we hit a thousand likes on this video, this is the first time I've ever set a likes target. If we ever set, if we get a thousand likes, I will release episode two at 9 p.m. So give it a go, guys. Let's see what we can do. So in terms of this episode, what will happen? So <clears throat> we are going to be taking over Weymouth. So Weymouth are in the National South. We are going to be giving them a million pounds. We're going to be tracking their progress over the course of each episode. So this is like a mini series. The first episode is going to be five years. The next episode is going to be 10 years. I'm going to return from holiday every year to go through transfers, to go through facilities, to go through landmarks, to go through anything else, league positions, what they're doing, who they're buying. So it's going to be exciting. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. Let's get right into it. So in terms of making, giving them the money, of course, we've got to use the in-game editor. So as you can see, we are going to go to Weymouth right now. So we'll show you a little bit of Weymouth. I think Weymouth recently got promoted again. They did. So Weymouth got promoted from the English Southern League Division uh, Premier South. They finished first last season back into the National South, which it's been a while, as you can see. They got relegated in 9-10, and they stuck in Tier 7 for, you know, 10-11 years, which is crazy. So if we go to Edit Club Details, so what we're going to do, we ain't going to touch anything ap apart from balance. The transfer budget, wage budget, sugar daddy, nothing like that is going to be touched. Nothing regarding the rep either. So I, I, I want to try and see if this club can do everything themselves in terms of the money they've got. So they've got a million pounds. Are they going to use it on the facilities? Are they going to use it on the players to get up the leagues? It's going to be quite interesting to see. Are they going to build a new stadium? Are they going to spend too much and fail financial fair play? There's a, there's a lot of things that could happen and it could go so many ways. Are they going to get a takeover in the first season and lose all the billion dollars and the guy just run away with it? So let, let's check it out. So like I say, we're not changing anything apart from finances. We're just going to set this to a billion pounds. So if we go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is a billion pounds right in there. So you can see the finances are okay. Of course, I am unemployed on this save, so I can't kind of see their, um, their, their um, finances. But if I just should go back and it should work, uh, let's double check. If we go to Weymouth, it still says that. Okay, did I save that? Let's have a look. Maybe I need to continue a day, but it, there is a billion pound in there, so that should go. Let's just go forward one day and just double check, but I'm 100% I'm sure that it will be rich now. Let's have a look. So there we go, rich. So they've got a billion pound. Of course, the wage budget and stuff, I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping they don't get relegated because <laughs> obviously they haven't really got any transfer budget and they have just got promoted. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, this, this could be over within a season. So we are going to come back after the first season, see where they finished and then we'll kind of get a grasp um, how much how much they're on, what anything that's changed, any players they've started bringing in, managers, stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see you all shortly on after the first season. And welcome back to season one. As you can see, a very good season for Weymouth. Despite them getting promoted last season, they actually finished third and won the playoffs, which is really interesting. I'm really intrigued to see if they spent any money. Obviously, we didn't give them as well any transfer budget. We only gave them the balance of a billion dollars. So let's have a quick look. So if we firstly, let's look at the managers. So has there been any manager changes which has caused this promotion? So as you can see, Mark Molesley is still the manager. Joined in 2017, so he's still the manager of them. They haven't made any changes regarding that. Looking at the landmarks, this is, this is the best tab to see everything. They can see any changes to stadiums, uh, facilities, stuff like that. They can see 16, 16 for the 5th, they got promotion from the Vanarama National League South. And they turned professional on the 17th of May. So, <clears throat> straight after getting promoted from the National League South, they got the, the turn professional, of course. They'll be in the National League next season, which is really exciting. But the question is, did they spend any money on players that is what we all want to see. I mean, looking at the team, the team is still very small. So let's have a little look. Can we look at their transfers? Let's go to transfer history. So you can see on the third, we are on the right one. Let's go to, yeah, we're on transfer history. So 2019-2020, they bought in, what, 
uh, two players in July. So they bought in Marvin Elliott on £375 a week, the 36-year-old Jamaican. They bought in Petar Jurin, a good goalkeeper, actually, on loan from Portsmouth. Um, he's actually... Yeah, he's on loan, right? He doesn't see... Oh, sorry, there he is. On loan from Portsmouth. So they bought in a new keeper. And Adam Randall on loan from Plymouth at 45.5k. After that, they obviously didn't have any money at this period because the transfer budget would have been quite low. <clears throat> but of course, going into November, the free transfer market and stuff would still be open. So in November, they bought in Mikael Kennedy from Concord, a new striker, 23 years old. Nothing really to shout about. And bought in Josh Doherty from Crawley on loan and a left back. Again, nothing really to shout about. But then on the 1st of January 2020, they bought in Tony McMahon. So this guy, I mean, let's... <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> so they bought... They're paying someone £23,000 a week. That's that's a little bit crazy. Um, so he's come from Oxford by the looks of it. It was a free transfer. He's only valid at 18k, but they, they, they've got the manager's gone all out. I'm a bit speechless at the minute. I, I, yeah. Um, so yeah, 23.5k on on Tony uh, McMahon this this year. I, I don't really know. But then they also bought in Ben Wells on the 29th of uh, February. Ben Wells only on 500 pound a week. <clears throat> you know, not as crazy as the other guy, but still 23 grand. I mean, if you actually look at the whole team. Compare the wages with my filters. I don't know if you can actually. There you go. So you've got one guy on twenty-three thousand pounds, and then the rest on one thousand and below. So this guy is on in more than the entire of the first team, plus the other twenty-three is plus the under 18s which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they do in the national league now. I'm assuming they've got some money. Of course, the new the new season would have started. The new wage budget would have come out. Of course, by looking at this, the wage budget has already changed. So you're going to kind of see more and more players come through now. But can they get a back-to-back -back promotion to the League 2 and get into the Football League? Let's see. Let's go. And welcome back to Season 2. As you can see, not the best of seasons for Weymouth. They have actually got relegated from the National, National League. So, you know... They've done something wrong. They've got a billion pound in the bank and have they just not gave the manager any money? Let's go into it. So let's go on to Weymouth. Let's have a quick look. Firstly, at any manager changes. If we go to overview, if we go to history, sorry, and then we'll go to managers. So you can see Mark Mosley, despite getting relegated, is of course still the manager of Weymouth. So they haven't got rid of him as of yet. He's been in charge now four years, 40 days. Let's quickly look at the landmarks. There's a few things that's been changed. So you can see that the youth and the training facilities have both been upgraded on the 1st of October 2020. They've, of course, got relegation from the Vanarama National League and their youth category rating has rise to category four. So a few changes this season. Of course, this is only, this is like a, a long-term project. So I'm not expecting them to get to the Premier League in the next five years. You know, it's all based on what they do in terms of their facilities and stuff like that. Let's have a look at the squad. So in terms of the squad, obviously a lot bigger than previously. I I am recognising a few names. I'm fully based on that team. I'm fully expecting a back a, a promotion back to the um, national league. Of course, the guy who they bought in last year, who's on twenty three thousand pound a week, is now on the transfer list, and they won't be able to get rid of that player. He's on the he's on the market now. Let's have a look when his contract actually expires. Twenty twenty two, so next year. So yeah, have they just spent all the money on this one player? I mean, it's made 43 appearances for Weymouth, which is quite interesting. But let's look more into the transfer history for this season. If we kind of go back, of course, we finished on Ben Wells. They also got rid of a few players as well. But if we, that was last season. Let's go on to this season. So you can see there's been a lot of changes. I don't want to go through all of them. But you can see that they spent a little bit of money. So they spent, what, 25, 24K on a few players. But a lot of players from the lower league teams... I'm just seeing if I recognise any of the players in regards to names. Kokolo I recognise, so he's to play for Sunderland. Again, £750 per week. So they haven't really done much, which is quite interesting because, you know, they've got a few players who's wanted and stuff like that by Barrow. But they haven't really got, in terms of value of the club, the best player is Mikel Kennedy, I think was Charlton maybe. 
I re- yeah, Charlton. So I remember this guy, Mikel Kennedy. So he's obviously the high fight player at the moment at 24k. So it seems like they've just got the the business in order. They've got a full team now. They've got opportunity to go forwards. They've increased the training facilities. They haven't just spent a, like wage wise. Them wages going into the National North or National South, sorry, they will get promoted. I can guarantee a promote. I'll be very surprised if they don't get promoted next season. But yeah, that is season two. Let's move on to season three. And we are into season three now. As you can see, we are obviously back in the National South as of season two. They got relegated. But the season three, you can see that Weymouth actually finished fifth. I was expecting them to actually get promoted. I was just looking at the team, so I'm just going to quickly show you something. So, if you look at the editor, like in terms of the money that they've got, the rep, of course, is still quite low because they are they haven't got to the football league yet. But the finances, they've still got. Obviously, what happens when you put a million pound, a billion pound into the bank? The board tend to save some of that money for any future occurrences. So, of course, they've still got 583 million or whatever in the bank. So, and then they've also got a transfer budget of like 219 million. But they're just not spending it. It's really frustrating. But this is what the experiment's about. We knew it wouldn't take, uh, you know, it, it will take a while for them to establish themselves and stuff like that. So let's quickly have a look at their history. So if we go into managers, Mark Mosley is still here, of course. It doesn't look like this guy is ever going to leave. Five years now he's been in charge of Weymouth. Three years in our, obviously, experiment. If we go to their players, in fact, let's look at the landmarks. So you can see that the only thing that changed last season was they, they appointed a new captain in Will D. Haviland. Of course, we'll go through the players now and see who they've got. As we go further into the um, series, uh, episodes, of course, seasons, shall, shall I say, of course, it's going to take a while before uh, we, we might not recognise some of the players eventually, but the, the, the aim of the save of the series is to kind of see where Weymouth can get to with that money. So if we look at their player squad, so you can see at the minute, the values have gone up. And so have kind of the wages as well. So if we filter by wages, they've got Peter Stroud, who they've got £20,000 a week. Of course, he's unhappy because they haven't got, you know, promoters. Tony McMahon is still on, on the transfer list, but they should be getting promoted. There's something wrong either with the tactics, the manager. Something is seriously wrong in why they are not getting promoted with them wage budgets or them wages. Value-wise, Luther James Wilden is their highest valued player at the moment. But let's quickly look at their transfer history for this season. So if we go back a season, I believe we covered everybody. In fact, we didn't. Because obviously, we, this is from the 1st of June. So we do want to look back at a few players. So anyone around here that they might have not signed. So like Will Diaviland, who we obviously missed, is a player that came in from Dover. But if we look back mainly on this season, they've got Dan Cohen, 7.5k from Stockport. Darren Steven, uh, Stevenson, DJ Campton Sturridge. Don't really recognise many. Peter Stroud is the guy that's on the most money of the club. And this guy, I mean, for his stats, I don't know why they're paying him £20,000 a week, which is crazy for that for them stats, is 1.3k. So something's wrong with... I think something's definitely wrong with the manager. I'm not entirely sure. Could be a financial fair play issue. I'm not entirely sure how to check any financial fair play. Of course, we'll look mainly... We can't look at the finances, of course, but we will look at anything that goes off regarding the league tables, points deductions, anything like that. But that's kind of where we're at. Obviously, they, they, didn't, they bought in a few loans as well, but next season, they have to get promoted, surely. Obviously, Jacob Badu is a very good player, so they've got a... Ri this type of player should be in League 2. So it's, it's really surprising that they are have spending another season in the National South. So let's move on to season number four. And this is season four of the what if the club had a billion pounds to spend in the National South. So as you can see, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. This might be a first time on any experiment I've done regarding money in the lower leagues. But Weymouth are still four years in, in the National South. What is that about? So as you can see, if you look at the stages, if we go back and then you can see that they actually lost in the playoff final. 2-1 over extra time against Woking, and that is unbelievable that they are still in the National South. But let's have a quick look and delve into a few more issues. Surely Mark Mosley cannot still be the manager of this club. If we go on to Weymouth, let's have a look at the history and managers. Believe it or not, Mark Mosley is still the manager after six years. There's no ambition from the board, no ambition whatsoever. We are going to continue and still see, of course, 
in a few more episodes of, of what happens regarding this. But they need to they need to move on. They just can't get out that rep kind of thing. They need to get the promotion. They need to get some more players in. But if we go to the landmarks, have they done anything else? All they've done is appoint a George Marsh as their vice captain. No more no more signs on the the fine the facilities. Nothing like that. At the end of episode, at the end of um, season five, we will do an overview of the entire five years kind of thing, a small overview, looking at the facilities, stuff like that. But that is crazy. If we go into the senior squad, you can see everything is going up, which is really surprising. So I, I, I just still don't know how they are still in the national south. It's just really shocking me a little bit. So if we look at the value, so we have got players valued at 96k. Liam Coyle, who is a recent new signing, 96,000 pound, 26,000 pound a week. If we go to the wages, you can see they have now got two players on 26 and 29,000. Two players on 5k, four players on 4k, and these are in the national south, and they're not getting promoted. Absolutely crazy. If we look at the transfers, the transfer history. You can see, I don't know where that player was. Uh, Liam Coyle, this guy. So Liam Coyle, of course, a DM. Unbelievable stats. Previously from Liverpool in the National South. Them stats are League 1, League 2 quality, if not League 1 quality. And he's stuck in the National South with the Weymouth. So we've also got a few more players coming in. They made a few signings, but nothing really, again, that massively stands out. If we go back to the player screen and we click uh, Value... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the wages, actually. So let's go to Ellis Landolo. Ellis Landolo is quite well known in, for Swindon. Again, a League Two player playing in the National South. But yeah, that is really essentially the end of Season 4. Not much to tell you apart from, of course, no more promotion. They are in this league again. So it's been three years now, four years. We're going on to Season 5. Let's go. And guess what? Weymouth are still in the National South. I don't know why I keep laughing. It's been five years. This is the fifth season, and Weymouth got promoted in the first season and spent four years in the National South trying to get out, and they just can't. So it was another playoff defeat by the looks of it. Um, let's have a quick look at the playoffs. So the first round, they actually they didn't play in the first round, but this, the semi-final, they lost to Barnet on penalties, 1-1. And, yeah, it's just absolutely mental. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's just mental. So, as you can see, I mean, they was obviously predicted to finish top as well. The manager is really, really kind of destroying the club, as, as you could put it. I mean, they've got a billion pounds. This is not a million. You could do magic with a million pounds in the lower leagues. This is a, a billion pounds in the bank. And still, five years on, they are stuck in the National South. I want the predictions in the, um, in the comments. How long do you think it's going to take these to get a football league club? Let me know. It's got to be soon. It's got to be soon. But if we quickly look at Weymouth and we go to their history, Mark Mosley is still the manager. It's unreal. How is he still the manager? Obviously, I don't think there's been any takeovers. We'll, we'll shortly check. But seven years and 40 days for Mark Mosley. But if we go to the landmark section, as you can see, nothing else really happened apart from Will Evans appointed as vice captain. If we quickly look at the players and the senior squad, let's quickly look at the value. So the value is still around 90k. Nothing really. There's a few new faces that I'm noticing. Delon De Silva, I think, was last year. Um, Luther James Wilden as well. Romani Medford Smith is a new player. But if we look at the wages, again, we've got 29k. We've got 16, 12, 7, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And they're in the National North, uh, National South. So it's it's really mental to think that they haven't been. They've even got. I mean, they're actually going out. They've got a lot of nationalities in the stadium. They've got a Russian centre back. You know, they've got some good players and they just the manager just can't seem to take them out of the National South at the moment. Well, that is the players. Let's quickly look at the transfers for this season. Anyone, if we recognise, if I miss anybody, by the way, please let me know. So this is the year where they kind of spent the most money as well. They spent £325,000 this year and they still couldn't get out. If we look at Harry Campbell, I recognise Harry Campbell, a good goalkeeper, again, from Wickham, playing in the National South. Just, you know, it's crazy. But again, they bought Farrell Willis for 235k, which again is the highest kind of that's the highest fee we've seen so far. Let's double check. So 130, 24, and zero. So 325k. So have they got to the point now where they are deciding, right, we need to spend some money? And the next five years, they're just going to go all out because they are building a team now with wages and stuff like that, where they should be able to get automatic promotions. I've been saying that since the third season, but it's not happening. So hopefully, let's right. That's that's that for that. So we're just going to go into a quick overview now of the first five, first five seasons, and we'll have a little look. 
Okay, into the overview section now for the fir first five years. As you can see, in terms of the facilities, they did get the, the training facilities and their youth facilities improved. They are still adequate and the youth is still quite low in basic. So we're not really seeing much. There's not much money being spent. They have got a few uh, sponsorships and stuff like that, but it's still very, very poor. What they need to do is get their promotion just so they can get their reps slightly higher, maybe go on a cup run and stuff like that. But we're just going to jump over to a few more tabs. So just going over the overview for the last five seasons. Uh, of course, it's, the season's not counting at the moment because we're, we're still on the 1st of June. So we have done five seasons. But as you can see, a quick overview. They finished third in the first season in, in, the, in the league. They finished 23rd and got relegated from the National League. They finished fifth. And uh, I don't think I think they lost in the playoffs. They finished second and lost in the playoffs. And I think they've just finished second and lost in the playoffs again. So yeah, they did. So it's pretty crazy. But that is kind of an overview. If we look at you know the any cups they've been playing in, so FA Cup wise, so nineteen twenty they lost to Woking in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. They managed to get to the second round in the second season where they was in the National League. And they lost to Coventry in the second round. They managed the first round and lost to Crawley. They lost to Boreham Wood in the English FA Cup fourth qualifying round. And they lost to Morecambe in the, the... I mean, they managed the second round this year. But they actually lost to Morecambe in the second round. So still not had the chance to get to kind of a third round. And then in terms of the FA Trophy, of course, the FA Trophy is something that you can win it in the, in the non-league of England. FA Trophy, 1920, lost to Bromley in the English FA Trophy first round. 2021 lost to Torquay in the English Trophy, uh, FA Trophy third round. 2021-22 they lost to Margate in the third qualifying round. So that's that's work, kind of the worst season for the FA Trophy. And 22-23 they lost to uh, Leighton Orient in the FA Trophy first round. And 23-24 they lost to Margate in the FA Trophy first round. So the best season for them in terms of FA Trophy was of course 2021 where they actually got to the third round. So that's kind of the the. The overview of the of the Weymouth in the first five years with a billion dollars. If there's anything you guys want to see else in, in future episodes, please let me know. But it's been a pleasure. I'll see you all on the next episode. Don't forget, if this video hits a thousand likes by tonight, I will upload at 8, 9 p.m. So it's been a pleasure. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Goodbye, everybody.